Andy, first question, obviously, um, how's the rehab going? Uh, I hear it's pretty intense. Yeah, I mean, rehab's been, been intense, but it's been, it's been good because I'm sort of seeing results. Like I'm not in pain anymore um, in, in my hip joint itself. You know, that feels much better. I'm kind of walking, you know, pretty well now. I still have a little bit of soreness kind of around the, the wound. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been good and it's, I feel a lot more positive about it because I'm actually doing rehab and getting some results, whereas I've been rehabbing my hip on and off for the previous 18 months and not really getting anywhere. So. I'm really, really happy with where I'm at just now. You said before clearly that physically you were in a lot of pain on a daily basis, but how mentally tough was going through that? Yeah, that was, by the end, that was the hardest part about it, you know, was just that, uh, yeah, it's like every single step, you know, I was obviously limping a lot, and the reason for me limping is because my hip hurt, so every step I took I was in, I was in pain, and over time that, you know, that wears on you, and on top of that I was also trying to train and play a high level sport which was not comfortable um, at all so yeah mentally it was it was pretty um, it was pretty draining and was there ever a time when you thought do you know what I can't cope with this anymore enough is enough I just need to walk away yeah so that that kind of happened a couple of times uh, once was after Wimbledon last year I didn't play Wimbledon um, but I had that conversation around that time um, last year and then also in December, um, in the middle of December during my training block there, I, after one of my training sessions, I was, I was in a lot of pain during the practice and I, I told my team afterwards, I was like, I'm done, like I don't want to do this anymore and I, I want to stop, like I need an end point and I was like, I'm going to try and get through to Wimbledon and that's it because I'm not being in pain post that, it's not fair on myself, like I'm getting nowhere with all the rehab and interventions I was having and um, yeah. Was it? And what about going forward then? Do you, have you thought about what level you could achieve going forward or not? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously something I've thought about. I mean, I don't know what the outcome of the operation is going to be exactly in terms of whether it allows me to do, um, you know, high level, you know, tennis again. I, I don't know the answer to that. I mean, people have had this operation and do ultra marathons and things like that. So, you know, I have hope there, um, but you know I'll just have to I'll just have to wait and see kind of you know how these these next few months play out and um, you know I was I'm, I was in a lot of discomfort at the Australian Open and you know I competed very well with a guy who made the quarterfinals there you know it was a five set match and with quite little practice going into it, not the same level of training because of the pain and stuff so yeah there's a bit of hope there. But you actually don't even know whether you're going to be get out there and be competitive again, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, that, that, look, that, all of that is kind of, for me, is, is a bit of a, you know, it's like a side note. Like the reason for me having the operation done was to not be in pain anymore and be able to walk around and play with my family and kids and stuff and for quality of life. And I already noticed the improvement there and I'm, I feel, yeah, just much happier um, in myself um, now since I've had that and then but you know in, in four months time when I'm allowed to start impacting my hip and running around and things I might think well this is actually all right I'm able to do this and certain things are maybe not quite like they used to but there's also things that are better because I'm not going to be in pain so I just have to wait wait and be patient with that and kind of see in four months time four or five months time how, how that's going. Do you think you could be one of those guys, like, like the footballers who, who get older, their powers wane and they drop down their leagues until literally they can't run anymore? Could you do the equivalent of that or is that not you? It's a good question. I, I'm, I'm not sure, really. Um, I'm not sure in terms of... Uh, the thing is, I would still play tennis. Um, you know, whether I stop today or in five years' time, I would still play in my spare time because I enjoy it and I love the sport and... I'd always want to be involved in it in, in some way, but in terms of like, I don't know how far, or you know, like if I got to 70 in the world, would I be happy with that? Or would it need to be top 10 or top 20? I don't, I don't know. Um, but being pain-free is the number one thing, and we'll just see, see what happens in, in the next few months. It sounds like retirement or having to stop playing actually doesn't scare you. To be honest, it actually did like a lot when I was when I had the pain 
I, I was, I always were worried and thought a lot about, well, what am I going to do? Like I played tennis my whole life. If I stop playing now, what, what next? What do I do? Whereas since I've had the operation, like I, I feel just a lot more relaxed and just a lot happier about things. And I'm just going to wait and, and, and take it, um, you know, as, as it comes. And, you know, if I'm not able to play again, I'll be okay with that because I know that with this operation, I'm, I'm, I'm happier. I'm in a good place. So, um, we'll, we'll see. And, uh, and of course, a lot of this is, is second guessing, but would you sitting here today say that playing at Wimbledon in any form is an ambition too soon? Well, in terms of singles, I would say that it's unlikely. Um, but in doubles, so Bob Ryan, who's one of the best doubles players in the world, he he came back after having the same operation after five and a half months and played at the Australian Open and made the quarterfinals and he won a tournament a couple of weeks later, you know, after six, six and a half months. So it's not it's not completely unreasonable that I could come back and play doubles because he's he's done it and done it to a high level and I've been communicating with him all of the time about how he's getting on and things and you know, he felt like he could have rehabbed a lot better than what he did and I feel like I'm doing everything I can rehab wise, so it's it's possible I could get back out there and and and, and play doubles. I'd say that that would be very likely I could do that, um, whether I'd want to or not. I'm not sure. And in terms of singles, um, chances of that are probably quite a bit lower because you know it's obviously it's much tougher on the body and things. But um, I'll I'll know a little bit more about that kind of around the four four and a half month mark once I'm allowed to start running around again.